everyone since flow released a version 15 and they've introduced quite some sud stuff so rain garden by retention that means we have to make tutorials so in this video i'm gonna be showing you how to model a rain garden and we are gonna go through some things that you should know but before we jump to it let's talk about our new members so Obviously, if you don't know, I've enabled the YouTube membership. So this is another way, guys, you can support me and keep making videos and spend my afternoons preparing these videos and sharing my knowledge and not feel that all this is for waste. So Kwasi Paul, thanks for joining. Carl Collins rejoined again. Nice to see you, Carl, again. I'm going to butcher this name. Okutuga. Welcome, Okuduga, to the channel. I'm glad that the Civil 3D videos helped you. John Clark, welcome to the channel. And Seri Met. Kalfi, welcome to the channel as well thank you everyone for your support it means a lot it's like i like teaching people uh, everything i learned because when i was learning there wasn't any online content that i could learn from so your support means a lot thank you so without further ado let's dive in so rain garden modeling in flow is basically modeling a pond with a filter layer at the bottom of the pond so if we go here and look at the example I've prepared you've got an inlet junction an outlet junction and I put junctions because it's more accurate there's no manhole in there and then we've got this green bit which is the new thing that they've been introduced in version 15 which is the filter depth a uh, filter layer not depth filter layer which has a depth so how do we model a rain garden we're gonna start by putting an outlet and inlet node. So in my case, I'm gonna model them as junctions. So I'm just gonna give them a name and call this one out, this one in. And then all I'm gonna do is grab a pipe from the out and connect it to my network. So I'm gonna put it here. And then the same as you model a pond, all you're gonna do is just go rain garden, select the outlet structure first, and then the inlet structure and right click. Now, if you don't have sketch, I would recommend you get sketch because it's pretty straightforward. But if don't worry, all you have to do is just go to the as soon as you put your in and out, that's it. So all you have to do is go to storage, go to uh, the storage tab and in the node column, just out your add your out node, switch it to rain garden in the inlets add the in node and then let's start specifying so the depth basically what i want is i want a rain garden uh, not the calculator let's bring paint up basically what i want is i'm going to show you my drawing skills subscribe if you want to see more drawing sketches so let's say this is the hard standing and then i want a little bit of a depression and then I want a layer that will drain. So basically, that's what you're modeling as a rain garden in flow. There is no pipe. Okay, let's make it blue. There is no pipe in here. The pipe is actually there. This is under it. And that is why it will throw an error if you don't put the infiltration rate because this is basically where you're modeling let's go to filter conductivity this is basically the rate that you allow the water to seep through the green bit not through the ground and the sides but through the green bit so that depends on your material i'm going to use 250 filter depth i said i want a 300 and then the depth i'm going to start from zero same as you model a pond i'm going to put an area and then I want to make it 600 mil. Actually, yeah, 300 mil depression and 300 mil filter depth. And I'm going to put it as, I don't know, 50. Yes, that's the one. So now I'm going to add some infiltration only for the base. And then I do some porosity. And if I click outside, it should be green. There we go. So obviously, this does not look good. It looks like a long elephant from Dali. Yeah, Dali. I thought I was going to do a wrong reference there. But let's add some cover levels. That is why this happened. And if we go to 3D, you can see, hang on a second, this is not exactly what I've specified. And the reason being, and I've seen it happen in other modeling exercises, like in swales and ponds. So basically, people, they think as long as they put depths correctly, they're done. 
technically no because what you're doing is you specify the depth up to there and then the this pipe here the upstream input level dictates how deep that node will be so basically because that upstream pipe and let's go to sketch is 1.5 deep uh, sorry 1.2 deep then if we go to storage you can see that if we go all the way there i'm at 1.2 1.3 deep so that's my zero and i go to 1.3 which is basically not what i want i want my pipe this bit to be up there so one way to fix it if you know the cover level then the invert level will be um 900 minus 99 minus 300 so 99.7 so that's there and then that's my 300 that's perfect so if i go to 3d now that's fixed but that my man my pipe is down there well that's not realistic so i'm gonna go and fix my pipe so that should also start from 99.7 now if i go to 3d you can see that one is up there but let's say i remove the invert level which is what i do from the storage because i want to make sure i model everything correctly without forcing anything you can see that now it still looks correct because the upstream invert level of the pipe, which dictates the depth of the node, is correct with and aligns with my modeling of the rain garden. And this is how you do it. And then you can go and add some intended treatment. So you can say it is a, I don't know why it's classed. You can use a user defined to be honest if you want to do it, but I think filter drain will work the same way and yeah and then you can do add your area so if you want to do more sudsy stuff so i'm gonna put the inlet here i'm gonna put an area in there and then you can intend the land use you can say it's residential roofing and then it will pick up some solids so that is really good when you're doing your analysis you can even they i think they put most of the stuff that you find in the serial suds manual which is great and this is how you model a rain garden so in the next tutorial i will show how to model let's have a look porous paving that's what we're gonna do so hit the subscribe button so you can get notified once i made that video and thanks for watching let me know in your comments below what filter conductivity would use and i'll see you in the next video